you can't have a contemporary romance book recommendation list without her inside Hi guys welcome to my youtube channel which is your ultimate destination for everything books my name is uchina and i'm a nigerian based digital content creator and on this channel you get everything from book reviews recommendation tips and much more you're sure to find something to love so do subscribe stick around and enjoy this video is all about my april wrap-up that's the books i read in april and i read a total of 23 books in april and for dnf dnf means the books that i did not finish i'll be reviewing this book more like talking about how i felt about this book and my experience while reading them so let's get into it the first book i read this month is when trying to return home by jennifer maritza macaulay this book is a debut collection of short story and one thing these stories have in common is trying to portray this picture of how we humans find freedom in our own ways now in this collection not all the story did it for me i ended up liking like four to five stories in this collection this wasn't a bad read it's just that it doesn't have the elements that i look out for in short stories but when it comes to short stories i'm very picky i like my stories to like like when i'm done with them i feel Com like it feels complete i don't have this feeling as if you are trying to push me into like i'm getting to know these people and the next minute you are like pushing me to get to know another people again something like that so in general this was a three star rating for me and i would recommend yes but not with my full chest and moving on to the second book which is peaches and honey by imogen markwell twed this is a queer read more like an enemies to lovers room come story between two men whereby they discover that they have similar interests in something together leading to friendship and the friendship grows beyond that now one thing i liked about this book is how this book actually debunked a saying for me that in the sense of someone said something a certain time to me that two similar people like that has like have the same characters have something like similar interests and something together can actually like live together or like date together and this book is just a perfect example of that a lie or that like that's very possible that's what this book actually like the message for me this book passed it was a nice read this was a 3.25 over 5 star rating for me i would recommend if you love cute queer literatures moving on to the third book the third book i read in april is the death of vivek oji by akweke emizie guys guys this book okay so i i had this book i've had this book for a very 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 long period of time like during before it was released i had the arlc copy but i didn't really like the front of the arlc copy so i was like okay i'm going to wait um to get like a physical copy and when the physical copy came out at first i didn't like the cover to be honest with you and that was one of the reasons i delayed getting to read this book and recently this year i visited the bookstore and i was on a call with a friend and the friend was like you definitely need to get that book so i decided to take the leap and no minding the cover i went with this book the funny thing i just started like randomly and that was how i couldn't drop this book i had to finish this book this book was was good and there's something i love about the author the way they write they give it to you like in a mind-blowing way in a way that you don't expect you don't expect like you will just be reading you you won't even see it coming that's just interesting you won't see the plot coming it will just hit you like a bomb and i love how they are unapologetic about their writing that's one thing i love about them yes so this book i would highly 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 recommend for you to read this book it's a queer literature and it's an interesting word like after finishing this book i did not see that ending oh my god so in conclusion I rated this book 4.5 over 5 star rating and I recommend for you to read all of this author's book from Pet to Best in the Run to Freshwater to Death of Vivek Oji. Just read all their books. You'll be glad you did. My first book in April is Life After Love by Imogen Marquette Tweed. Now this book guys 
so i picked up this book because of a friend zara i saw this book on her story on instagram where she was reading it and and it's a queer um literature so i said that okay i'm going to read this book so i added it to my cbr and i started and this book hey it was something entirely different like although i don't read the blobs of book i just go i go into most of my books blind like most of them i go i go into them blind so i went into this book blind without actually knowing what to expect in this book and guys i was shocked by the premises of this book like i was wondering what was the author thinking although it's fiction though um yeah now the premises was like no i don't want to give spoilers but in conclusion i rated this book 2.5 and that's because the whole story felt unrealistic to me even though it's fiction um it is what it is will i recommend i wouldn't really really recommend but you can actually check it out if you would want to but i would say you should read the blog of this book before going into it the next book which is the fifth book is Gigi Listening by Chantel Gratton. This book, I'm going to talk about the premises of this book. It's more like a book lover who happens to fall in love with an audiobook narrator. She listened to this book for the first time and she fell in love with this book. Although before then, there's a, this particular book she listened to. There's a story behind this book before she actually listened to this book she already like know the story so she listened to the audiobook she fell in love with the um narrator at some point i would say that i could picture what would happen if this book was an enjoyable read i enjoyed it i love when the main characters are book lover just like me this book reminded me of the saying finding love in places you do not expect and if you're a lover of having quant books like crazy rich asians you would actually love to read this you enjoy this in conclusion this was a 3.5 star rating over five for me and i would recommend for you to check it out the sixth book i read in april is it's all art up by devon kennard this is a financial literacy book and to be honest i kind of know the tips and advice he gave in this book it's something that i've known like i've read them before and it wasn't new to me but what actually made me stick to the end was i was interested in this author's like personal story i was interested in the story more than the um the financial literacy part that he was given because i already know some of the advice and to be honest the previous financial book i read which was financial feminist was more better than this like far better than than this so and this was a 2.5 star rating for me i would necessarily recommend for you to read this book the seventh book i read in april is homebodies by tembe dental this is a debut contemporary and literary fiction story about a young black writer whose world turned upside down when she lost her job in the media industry this book has themes on racism sexism homophobia romance going on and to be honest i was more interested in the main character's corporate life rather than her own personal life and her love life and this book centered more for me it centered more on that her her love life and her personal life and i don't know i was more really really interested and invested in her corporate life that was one of the reasons i actually picked up this book that i want to see how everything goes and at the end it wasn't a bad read but at the same time it's not a memorable read for me it was a 3.5 star rating and i recommend for you to check it out the end book i read in april is like a sister by kelly gretel this book is a mystery thriller story of a black reality tv star that was found dead and a half sister whose refusal to believe what they said caused her death went on to do her own investigation to find out what really happened how did her half sister died to be honest this wasn't a memorable book in any ways for me it and it wasn't that bad but at the same time it was just made like it was middling for me that's just how i felt about this book and i rated it three star over five for me i don't recommend it with my food chest the ninth book is nick blake and the remarkables 
The Manifesto Prophecy by Angeton. This is a middle grade fantasy book inspired by the African American history, which I enjoyed reading. Like, it wasn't a serious, serious book for me, but at the same time, it wasn't a waste of time. If you're a lover of um middle grade books this like this book is good and i would highly recommend for you to read it it's a 3.5 star rating for me and it was it was it was okay it was good and i recommend if you love middle grade books especially the 10th book i read in the month of april is the fiance facel by alexandra he is a stranger to lovers safari rom-com book about a bookseller and a romance novel cover model and both ladies found themselves in a situation where they had to compromise because they wanted something and the only way they could get what they want was to plan out together that's just like the premises of this book i like the premises that surrounded this book which is bookstore and book lovers and it was a nice read but was not a memorable read for me so i rated it 2.5 star ratings the next book i read in april which is the 11th book is maybe in another life by taylor jenkins raid when it comes to writing contemporary romance book give out the crown like you can't have a contemporary romance book recommendation list without her inside from the first time i read um the seven husbands of heaven hugo I have see she you know when you have this auto buy auto or auto read auto authors that once they release a book you are definitely reading the book she's one of them for me and this book I enjoyed the premises of this book it was nice and I would want to experience everything by yourself without spoilers it was a three over five star rating for me and yes I would recommend for you to check it out the next book I read is evidence of the Afres by taylor jenkins read now this book the title speaks for itself it's a contemporary romance story of a woman who finds out that her husband was cheating and she decided to write to the husband of the woman her own husband is cheating with hey so that's basically like the storyline of this book and i enjoyed it to be honest i enjoyed reading this book it was short it was short and straight to the point and i would recommend for you to read it i highly do recommend for you to read it it was a three star rating for me next the 13th book which is daisy jones and the six by taylor jenkins read as i'm calling the name of this book you should be running to check it out don't see don't waste any time just just go and add it to your to your tv out list this is the story of one of the biggest bands in the 17th and i totally enjoyed reading this book because it was something different from what i usually read the way this author wrote this story it felt like an interview like it's it was in an interview like format and it was just I was I was like blown away with the writing style. I was blown away with, with how she was able to put everything together. People, they write. <laughs> so I would recommend for you to read this book because I rated it a four star rating for me. It was good. I I enjoyed it, and it has a TV adaptation, which for me I don't know. I don't think I want to watch it. To be honest, I don't think I want to watch it. I just enjoyed reading the book, and I would prefer to have the whole pictures from reading the book in my head than watching the tv adaptation thank you next book is after i do by Tolo jenkins read i know you guys would say ah is it only her book she are reading this period you just like a spell she has this commanding influence over please do you believe in juju this is a contemporary romance story of a couple who reached a breaking point in their marriage and they decided to come up with a plan to deal with the situation now did this plan work out was this plan good was it bad did it like make their marriage more 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 solid or did it ended their marriage it's something you have to find out by reading this book this is one of those books that reminds you that marriage is a serious commitment guys when i mean serious commitment hey <laughs> so at the end i enjoyed this story in conclusion i rated this book a four star rating and i recommend for you to check it out 
when breath becomes air by paul guys this book i was on the verge of tears i was so pained i was so pained like why it's life so unpredictable in this way why why does that thing happens to good people this book it was touching it was really really touching and it's one of those books that remind you that life is fickle and you should always live in the moments like you are living your best life i was touched and it's a memorable book for me i rated it five over five star yes until the next book which is everyone in this room will someday be dead by emily austin this book is the story of a queer young woman going through life crisis and it's a nice read but not really a memorable book for me and i would recommend for you to check it out and the next book which is the 17th book is yes daddy see let me be honest with you i was expecting bdsm forbidden love that's what i was expecting in this book and um it's it wasn't that far from it but ah it was touching this book is is touching if you love um a little life like i could relate this book to a little life in some ways not entirely like not it wasn't up to the level of little life but if you've read a little life you should read this book and you you enjoyed a little life you loved it you should actually read this book i felt for the character i felt for the character i rated it four star over five yes next on my list is what we lose by zinzi clemon this is an emotional read in which grief plays a huge role in the story and i didn't entirely enjoy this book because it felt the editor of this book did not do justice to it it felt disjoint i i just felt the editor could have done better with this book and would have made it more nice and the book was okay it was good but it was just that the, the whole disjoint part of the story it was just not doing it for me and i rated it 2.75 star rating but if you love stories centering on grief i would highly recommend you should check it out the 19th book on my list is i can't state jesus love sex family race and other reasons i put my faith in beyonce by michael the remaining part of the surname i leave it for you to pronounce this is a memoir and i enjoyed the whole story it felt like getting to know the author it was centering on the author's life love race family and much more stuff and i enjoyed it to some point yes it does i enjoyed it and i rated it a 3.5 star rating i would recommend if you love like queer memoir this is something you should actually check out the 20th book for april is the new girl by jc q sutanto first off you see this author any book she writes i'm her number one fan if nobody reads the book that means i'm dead but i love 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 her work after reading die a for auntie that book was just so good and i recommend for you to check that out now this particular book i didn't really really much enjoy this book because the character was stressing me out like i could think of better ways to tackle these situations than the way she did i was expecting something like mind-blowing with this book but it wasn't mind-blowing but it wasn't bad i enjoyed it the premise is around um mother and mystery yes so if it's something that you love books are centering around that genre you can actually read this the next on my list is there are wrongs unsolicited advice for murderers by jcq sutanto this book was good i enjoyed it i i really 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 enjoyed this book it was yeah it was what i was you know how you always expect something good something interesting from the author the author gave in this book i wish older characters in real life were like this the way she writes her older characters they were just so nice i'm like 
Oh my god, I enjoyed it. It was a very enjoyable moment. It reminds me of when I read that if for answers. That was also good. It was good. And this also was good. And I highly, 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 highly recommend for you to read it. My 22nd book for April is Anna Khan Carries On by Uzma Jalaluddin. Here's a YA rom-com story with him centering on immigrant families, love, business, Islamophobia, racism, hate crime, and more. Now, I enjoyed reading this book from the main characters to the secondary characters. This is one of those books that makes me enjoy YA, reading YA stories. At the end, everything was so good. Even the secondary character, some of the stories they told in this in this um in this book if i could get more i wanted more that was how i felt with this book and in general i rated it a four star rating and will i recommend yours i highly recommend for you to check it out the 23rd book i read in april is 10 minutes 38 seconds in this strange world by elif shafak this book was a masterpiece like it was it was just so good there was a lot of genres in this book women's fiction contemporary fiction politics see it was a lot and i i i loved this book i loved the storytelling i was telling my friends on twitter that why didn't you guys like drag my ear to read this book since and they said it's my coconut head that has refused to read this book i loved it loved it loved it loved it it was just the perfect book to close up my reading in april and i loved it like it was a chef kiss book and it was touching i would not lie i was pained the book talked about so many important things things that were important see i would recommend for you to read this book because i don't even know the words to express this book with it's how good this book was for me and it was a five over five star rating now moving on to the books i dnf'd the first one was um there's no such thing as an easy job i didn't really i couldn't get into this book because of the narrator's voice the next one is act of service by lillian fishman i couldn't get into this because of the audio narrator and the love of my other life the narrator's voice was not compelling enough for me and um the last book that i dnf'd was ladima i dnf'd the book because I was just bored with the book but the thing is that i might go back to these books later it's just that currently the narrator's voice in these books are not just cutting out for me we have come to the end of this video please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are yet to please and also recommend this channel to a friend that you know that are lovers of books or they would want to build like a reading habit or get book recommendations or tips on how to read yes do let me know if you have any specific video you'd want me to talk about in the comment section and i would see you in my next video bye